250 million years ago, the Triassic period began in the aftermath of the worst extinction in Earth's history at the end of the Permian period to begin the Mesozoic era. But 50 million years later, around 200 million years ago, another mass extinction occurs, also one of the worst five in the history of the Phanerozoic Eon. And this is what brings the Triassic period to an end, the end Triassic extinction. What was happening during this time? What were the effects? In the middle of the Triassic period, there was a supercontinent known as Pangaea. But by the Jurassic period, the supercontinent had broken up and the northern and southern continents were separating they were. The Atlantic Ocean was a new ocean forming beginning in the Jurassic period. At the end of the Triassic, a huge area of volcanic activity known as the Central Atlantic Magnetic Province covering 10 to 11 square kilometers engulfed the areas where Europe, North America, Africa, and South America contact each other. This may not have been the largest volcanic eruption in history by volume, but it certainly was the greatest in terms of total area. This huge area of volcanic activity going on for thousands of years would break up a supercontinent, would begin the formation of the Atlantic Ocean, and was undoubtedly the principal cause of the end Triassic extinction in which half of Earth's life died out. It is thought that about a third of all of the life in the ocean died out in the end Triassic extinction. This would affect groups of fish such as the conodons. The last of them became extinct. It would also affect so many of the marine reptiles which had thrived throughout the Triassic period such as the placodons, the nothosaurs, the pachyplorosaurs, and the sauropterygians, while ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs would survive into the Jurassic. Most of the di diversity of these groups which existed in the Triassic also became extinct. The end Triassic extinction had such a great effect on terrestrial life, Mon. The archosaurs, the ruling reptiles, were very hard hit with many groups of early crocodiles wiped out, the phytosaurs wiped out, the huge Rauisukians, which were the dominant predators on Earth at the time, wiped out. So many other groups of archosaurs, such as adosaurs, were wiped out. The synapsid reptiles, such as the last of the therapsids, which were the dominant reptiles at the beginning of the Triassic, wiped out as were the cynodonts. So many groups of plants, such as the tree ferns, the seed ferns, the ginkgos, the cycadophytes, and many primitive conifers were either wiped out or virtually wiped out, man. Many groups of amphibians were wiped out. And even though I am a dinosaur, a prosauropod, and we dinosaurs were the group which would inherit the Earth after this Triassic extinction, benefiting from the extinction of our competitors. Many early groups of dinosaurs were also hit hard, and the prosauropods were the first group of dinosaurs to become extinct in the early Jurassic period.